I hope I'm back. I don't know. This this doesn't really. This game is. No effort was put into making this game work. All right, so let me know if I'm back. Just give me a quick heads up. Oh, okay, I'm back. You have sound. You can hear me. Good. So this is what the game looks like. Um, so technical problems. First technical problem, can't window the game. Tried two programs that are supposed to window video games. It did not work. Okay, that's one. Two, if I play this game on my TV... Or if I play this on my monitor and try to view the chat on my TV, I get no sound. So, we have to compromise. I can't read the chat while I play this. That's the only way. And it's just, me and Reg were trying earlier to get this in windowed mode, doesn't work. And now, the thought of having no sound, kind of blows. So, I'll tell you what, let's just play it and just see what happens. All right, here we go. Um, I'm going to hop in the game. Just let me know if it works, okay? I'll be back in just a second to read the chat. What a shame. This fucking awful game is preventing me from reading the chat. This is what happens. Look at the... What are the options? Set up a ringtone and a theme? Your current ringtone is ring1.ogg. Can you guys see this? Can you see me going through menus and shit? Helicopter? What? I, I don't even want to get spoiled. Alright, let's just see. I think you guys can... Okay, good, you can see. Great, great, great. Alright, this is the compromise. I hope you guys will be patient with me. This is not something that I expected going into this. Then again, I should have, shouldn't I? Please enter a name for your hero. Whatever. It is a period of concern in the prosperous kingdom of Bo Tujgel. Princess Carmiana, the beautiful red-headed and obnoxiously thin daughter of the King Telkar, has fallen ill, not appear publicly in days. Although royal spokespeople assured the public that it is a minor illness, observers are worried. Princess Carmina is the king's only child, and a succession crisis would have repercussions not only within the kingdom but throughout the whole empire. However, our story begins far away from these royal intrigues in the flyover province of Boringshire. Early in the morning... It's funny how my character name is almost perfectly reflective of the names in this game already. Hey, Skabolbunt. If, as you say, you want to find adventure going, you need to shape up. People want their heroes to be in good physical condition. If you don't work out a bit, you'll lose whatever tiny chance you have to find an adventure. There's a gymnasium ahead. Seems like a good place to work out. Fine, fine. Anything else? Yes, you should know that I'm a Palencio fairy. We Palencios are all telepathic are all in telepathic contact with each other and have been able to exploit this to create a successful telecommunications enterprise. We provide many services useful to adventurers. Maps, uh, advice, and inventory, best airline prices, so on. Oh, really? Yes, press escape. Touch screen in my belly. What? And you can use it to access all your... Oh my god. Reg, why did you give me- why did you tell me to play this? Of all games. Look at that punch animation. There's a touch screen in her belly. Botudgel. Southwest Botudgel. Southeast Bo- oh my fucking god. so loud! Stop! <laughs> From Palancho! Dear Skabolbunt, Palancho, this is, Reg, where, why and where did you find this? 
Palancho Enterprises would like to thank you for partnering with Tabitha, one of our talented sidekick fairies. We hope you will find her services satisfactory. Like all fairies in our sidekick TM service, Tabitha is available at no cost to you. Our revenues come from sales through our service. Please enjoy a complimentary article from Bro Bensi, Advanced Leader. I, I hate video games when I play stuff like this, but then I think to myself, like, this is like watching Troll 2, and I love that movie. Hello, Phil. Who the hell made you the gatekeeper? That's Phil. Miller did just this morning. How nice. Well, I'd like to go outside if you don't mind, so I'd appreciate it if you open the gate. No can do, Skabol, but for your information, this is level one. The game isn't programmed for you to be outside town on level one. So leave me alone and go do a tutorial like a good little boy. Oh, come on. Open the gate. What's going to happen? I don't care, Skabol, but just doing my job. Be your best friend, Skabol, but Read my lips. I'm not going to open the gate for you. So scram. Punch. There's a first person mode. How do you do that? We gotta go to the gym. Town of Borington. Population 3000. Graphics. This treasure chest is locked, Tab. Always has been, as long as anyone can remember. Really? We have to open it somehow. A treasure chest that have been sealed for a long time always contains something valuable and or powerful. It's the very first lesson we learn in sidekick training. But how? Nobody's been able to open it for years. Perhaps there's an item we can find somewhere in this game that we can use to pick the lock. There's always a way to open. One second. Okay. Just making sure we got picture and everything. Okay. We're good. So let's just keep going. Oh god, really? It's the farmer and his wife. Look look at the way they're <laughs> This game is amazing. Is that Peter Molyneux? Nice face. Nice, f realistic face. Same here. I like how the, the face is entirely flat, but the nose is a triangle. Brilliant. Alright, so we gotta go to the gym. Warrington Agricultural Supply. This music. It's like someone's farting into an accordion. Hey, that's... <laughs> Skabobunt. The pops only... The pots only appear to... Whatever. Alchemy. Neither of which are in this demo. Oh, okay. Psst. Tab, what was that? Skabobunt. Over here. Hey, Jacob. What is it? Word on the streets that you're out looking for an adventure. What street? Uh, Skabulba, this is one of those times where you have to speak profoundly. Oh, right, sorry. Yes, my good man. Like the great knight of yore, Sir Skabulbalt, Skabulbunt a lot, we shall embark on a great adventure. Huh? Well, if you go on a quest, I got some information for you. Want to hear it? Sure. You see, most video games have a power-up of some sort, an item that you can find that gives you additional power and stamina. Every game has its own power-up. You know, Super Mario has mushrooms, Zelda has hearts, so on. Well, power-up in this game is magic spleens. <laughs> Sp spleens? That's right, but I warn you, magic spleens are very rare. If you find one, you should consider yourself very lucky. So, what do I do if I find one? What do you mean? Like, how do I absorb its magic power? What do you think? You eat it! What? Can I cook it at least? No. Cooking a magic spleen causes it to lose its magic power. You gotta eat it raw. Ah. 
I bet you were here thought heroing was all glitter and glamour, didn't you, Skabobunt? Why did I have to make the name so hard to say? I don't I can't read. I can't read. Don't tell anyone I told you this. Before I got out that I was helping someone on an adventure, I'd lose my position on the town council. Plastic thingamajig. Wow, I picked up a CD. Great. <laughs> it's Kaboba. Look, your life meter went up. It's three spleens, but now it's four. Well, I'll be. And you know, it wasn't as bad as I thought. It seems gross, but I could learn to really enjoy eating spleens. I'll just give him the voice of uh, Graham Chapman's character from Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Uh, that'll probably work well. Ugh. Hi, Tito. Sasuke Burbant, you finally come to my gymnasium. About time you started to shape up. Working out your body would make you more successful farmer. Yeah, <laughs> you have my new fairy here to thank. This is Tabitha. Tab, this is Tito Raul. Skabobun thinks he's going to find an adventure to go on. Told him to shape up or no one's going to want to send him on one. An adventure? Well, I don't think you'll find a better any adventure in this town. Better farmer. Okay, whatever. Now... There are five challenging exercises in this gym, but because this game is just a demo, we only have two set up. Just walk over to one of the floor mats and I give you instructions on... I can't, the game goes too fast, I cannot read the whole thing. I don't know what this voice is. It's sometimes German, and it's sometimes, like, I'm not supposed to do this. Exercise one, climb ladder. Now, the, the first exercise is the ladder climb. All you have to do is climb a ladder. That doesn't sound too hard. To climb a ladder, approach it and press E to mount. Yep, I got it. Brilliant. Come on, Bunt, you okay? What happened? Yes, I'm fine. I freaked out when I noticed my feet weren't touching the rungs. Oh yeah, this game is too cheap to synchronize feet to rungs. Try again and be careful. I like the fourth wall breaking. Oh, okay. Great. <laughs> uh, okay, come down exactly the same way. Stand near a ladder, press E to mount, climb down, then mount me. Like that? I gotta go back up now. Go work on ladder climbs, Gable Bond. Once you complete all of the challenging exercise, I cannot tell you the rest because I do not know. This exercise is the rope climb and rope jump. First, you have to climb to the top of this rope, and then you have to jump to all the other ropes. To mount the rope, uh, stand near the rope and press E. Climb the rope with WASD, and that's as much as I can read. Wow those animations oh my god strong bodies thresh more corn Good work, Skibol Bunt. You jumped to all the rope. Now come back down. <laughs> Good work on the rope climb, Skibol Bunt. Once you complete all the challenging exercise, you'll be able to farm. That's all I got. They say there's a treasure chest somewhere in the town of Borington, which is locked in, for which there is no key. Rumor has the item can be found in this demo. It used to be picked the lock. Uh, no one knows what's inside, but there are many rumors, none of which seem likely. Diamonds, gold, and Jimmy Hoffa, but we know it's likely someone's dirty underwear. No way I'm reading all of this. The Roman Emperor Constantine dies. R really Western Roman 
Emperor Northeast Frontier, secured by the barbarians, free and external threats. Many warlords in the Northeast begin qu quarreling. Southwest barbarian threats continue. House of Grubspa scored a major upset victory against an invading horde. The Grubspas emerge as a force to be reckoned with. Thane of Vine Vinecon. Vinecon? All right, get the ball pit. Unites three large duchies in the northeast under his power. The Thane of Vinecon thus met the requirements of the Edict of Bonfay. Call himself a king. What is this fucking story? I can't listen. I can't read all this. I'd be here forever reading this shit and, and still not having take anything from it. Freyrinja, cured, kidnaps Princess Carminia. So there's a, a princess, uh, there's a holy artifact, the Eric Ekrofurt. What the fuck is these names? M Melerjusa. <laughs> Siller blames Neptalisa. <laughs> what? I don't know what I'm reading anymore. Neptalisa Grubspa. Uh, uh, whatever. Next page. Beowulf. The, why, Beowulf is apparently in this game. Test currency. The the de facto ugh, the de facto unit of currency is the frequent flyer mile or mile for short. Many centuries ago, there was no unit of currency. Crown's official unit was the euro. Taxes and fees were paid in euros. In practice, for royal tax collectors outside capital dealt currency. Blah blah blah. Um. G frequent flyer miles have remained the official currency of the crown and de facto national currency to this day, save one brief period when it was switched to Gmail invites, only to be switched back to frequent flyer miles after a massive surge of inflation. Fundamentals uh, forces, gravity, electromagnetism. Weak nuclear force, radioactive decay, strong nuclear force, and puzzle force. What? Rules of the game, prime directive, needlessly... Nev we shall never needlessly waste the gamer's time. It, it, am I not being... Wasted? Time is being wasted right now. There is no object too heavy or bulky for Skabolbunt to carry. Game control should not depend on the game being parodied at the moment. Video game cliches are trademarked. Um, if I mistake, the game isn't deliberate. See rule number nine. All mistakes in the game are deliberate. Any character in the game can be bribed with enough money. Inside jokes and obscure references shall never take longer than two seconds. And then only if they're funny. Okay. I think I've had enough of the library. So what's my current progress, Tito? So far, you've completed every exercise that you started and did not fail. The Mead Hall. Uncle Stoop Nixie. Hey there, Skabolbunt. Nice to see you. Wait a minute, is that a fairy? Yes, Uncle Stoop. This is Tabitha, my new fairy. Tab, this is um Uncle Stoop Nixie. Nice to meet you, Drunkster. Wow, that's amazing! How'd you guys get together? Okay. This is how they got together. This is canon, official lore. I had just completed my early morning threshing, and I was walking back to town when I noticed something unusual. His head does not move while he's moving. He does, you don't need the head to move. It's fine. What was that? Cool. Fairies. Mister, please, you gotta help me. He's gonna get me. Ah. <laughs> Come on, you know you want to buy this Facebook stock. <laughs> Facebook stock? That's just cruel. I have to do something. No, my portfolio is fine. I don't believe in fairies. Ah! Wow, that, that killed him. <laughs> wow, thanks a lot, mister. 
I thought my credit rating was a goner. I'm Tabitha, or Tab for short. What's your name? My name is Skibulbunt. Yikes. Here's my card. Hey, wait. This doesn't say Lance. I know, I know. It's spelled Skibulbunt, but it's pronounced Lance. That jerk joke works a lot better when there's voiceover. <laughs> okay. Really? Anyway, glad to meet you, Skibulbunt. Nice to meet you too, Sta Tabitha. So what brings you to a place like Boringshire? Oh, I was passing through on my way for freelance work as a fairy sidekick. You know what, Tab? Something's going on here. I've always felt like I was destined to be a great hero, and here you are. Destiny, come on. No, really. I really think I could be a hero if I had the chance. Skip all but no offense, but no. Every teenage boy and his sister thinks to themselves, oh, I'm the chosen one. I was picked by destiny. Well, no, you weren't. Most young heroes have been training to be a hero since they could walk. A small town country boy like you has no chance. Do you have any experience at all on going on an adventure, even a small one? See, that's the problem. I haven't had the opportunity. This place is so dull, the grass thinks it's boring to watch us grow. But if you give me a chance, I'll find a quest and show you how I can be a real hero. Ah, I don't think you have the slightest chance to find a quest to go on, but I suppose it wouldn't hurt to tag along for a little while. After all, you saved my future from financial ruin. Oh, thanks, Tabitha. I won't disappoint you. Well, Tab, here we are, my hometown, Boringshire. Wow. Look at these details, like... This is like Hyrule Field from Ocarina. Like when the first time you saw Hyrule Field, you were blown away. So that's how we met. Can't believe that'll happen only 10 minutes ago. Oh, that's great. You two will be going on adventures in no time. I bet you'll be needing a lot of information soon. Hey, that's what your Uncle Stoop is for. Reliable, helpful information. If you want to ask me anything, I'm over at the bar in my useful spot. <laughs> the bar is completely empty, save this one table of clones. Yep, just clones. Skip Oban, your uncle's already drunk and it's not 7 o'clock even. Nice to hear he's doing much better. I know, what'll it be? <laughs> Frequent flyer miles. Well, don't make any hasty decisions or anything. Um, why does the town have walls? Let's do that one. Uncle Stoop, why does Borrington have walls for? I mean, the only reason this province is free is that none of the nobility would take it when offered. Who would attack us? Well, Skabob, the fact is the walls of this town was built... To keep enemies out, but excitement. You see, Warrington was founded many centuries ago by Seamus Boring. Or Seamus Boring, it doesn't matter. A destitute farmer who lived in this very spot. He was quite a visionary. He was a man who understood the advantages that come with a small town. But he also believed in living a life completely and totally free of any sort of excitement whatsoever. So the walls are to keep the excitement out or something like that. But you know what's even sadder, Skaboba? All that work he did building these walls was for nothing. If it didn't finish that. So, Uncle, what's the deal with the birds and the bees? No one else will tell me. Oh, it's understandable. Many people feel awkward talking about birds and bees, but it's something you need to know. So, pay attention. Birds lay eggs. Bees make honey. Can you tell me about money and how to use it? Sure thing, Skabal, but I have a lot of experience with money. The de facto unit of currency in this kingdom is frequent flyer miles. Sometimes called a mile for short. You can obtain miles by doing things like odd jobs or selling items. You have lots of opportunities to acquire miles for the game. Cool, but how can I use them? Just talk to a shopkeeper and initiate transaction. The game will handle it for you. However, your frequent flyer miles are also an equipable item. For example, you have to equip money to use a coin-operated machine. 
Anything else? Uh, yes, realize you're physically incapable of carrying more money than your money bag holds. Any additional money won't be counted. What even is this game? Like, I still don't know what's going to be happening in the game. Hi, Mrs. Perry. What are you working on today? Ah, good morning, Skip Bunt. Take a look at my new invention. I call it the refrigerator. It's a box that keeps everything inside it cold. Keeps everything cold? That's pretty neat. You always have the craziest inventions, Mrs. Perry. Ah, uh, no. It's a good but it may be crazy, but a refrigerator could be a useful item to have on an adventure. You're right. I think I should take it with me. I said, I think I should take it with me. M Mrs. Perry, do you mind if I take the refrigerator with me? I'm looking to go on an, an adventure. A refrigerator would be a nice thing to have. Sure, you can take it, Skip Albunt. Just order an... Oh, goodness, be careful, you've got it! Yep, right here in my pocket. Okay. Gaping pockets. What is the current situation? What am I supposed to do? Skip the thing you have to understand with these games is they're programmed not to let you advance until you do a bunch of random things that have nothing to do with the overall plot. So talk to as many people as you can, engage in activities. Okay. <laughs> nice rocks. Hey, hey Skip Bulbunt, you're just in time. I got a little job for you if you want some cash. Uh, maybe. What is it? Uh, I need to have the road of, of all these clear of all these rocks. I'll teleport one frequent flyer mile into your pouch for every rock you throw into the chute over there. What do you say? You want to pay me all that for just clearing a few rocks? Uh, sure, why not? <laughs> what are you doing, Skabobot? He's dribbling the rocks. What? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, that was just, that was so fucking unexpected. What are you doing, man? Stop! That was a fucking basketball play. Four fucking frequent flyer miles. This guy can't stop me. Basketball! Oh shit, now he's stopping me. God damn it. That was probably one of the most completely unexpected things I've ever... I, I... you just... no. There's no way you could predict that. I loved it. I kind of love this game. I kind of really love it. Oh my fucking god. And it's self-aware, despite having no discernible lighting engine. It doesn't have lighting, but, you know, it's got basketball players, and it's it knows what it is, so there's that. You know what? I'm good with 10. It's fine by me.
I don't I, his face. This this guy looks like the town creepster. The form acarium. Uh getting a makeover. It was too intense, now it'll be too intense to handle. Reopening in three days. Wow, Skabolbunt, you were really right about this town being boring. Yeah, it is really boring here. This chest contained five frequent fire flyer miles. Notice how it contained the miles, but it didn't give them to me. It just straight up did not give them to me. Fucking bullshit game. Hey dad, say hello to Tabitha. She's a Pelencho fairy. Hello, Skibal Bunt. You better behave yourself around her. Okay. This is my house. P please, God. like a career in royal boats and academy. The royal army is a great career with great benefits. You'll get great health care. You travel the world. You learn valuable leadership skills that will prepare you for civilian career after time in the army is complete. You'll make hundreds... Is that a fairy? Yes, sir. This is Tabitha the Palencia fairy. Hmm. Let me ask you something, lad. Are you aware of the situation with her royal highness, Princess Carmiana? The princess? I thought she was just sick. Son, prepare yourself for a shock. She was kidnapped. For some reason, the king is looking for a fairy boy to go on a quest to save his daughter. I'm under orders to recruit a fairy boy for the quest, so if you join the army, you'll have a fantastic opportunity to rescue Her Royal Highness Princess Carmiana. If you succeed, I don't... Yeah, let's join the army. I couldn't read the rest of it. Sign me up, C-Tab, I told you. I cannot believe what I'm seeing. Not only am I going on an adventure, Tab, I'm going on the greatest adventure ever. A quest to rescue the princess. It is my fate to be a glorious hero. I am the chosen one, TM. Oh, please, Skabalbunt, you could never possibly get a quest like this based on your own merits. It's because of the circumstances of me tagging along the exact sliver of time the king was looking for a fairy boy. Exactly! Fortune brought you to me, Tab. It's like, Destiny is my patroness. I am her ward. Now oh, shut up with the Destiny talk. We just lucked out. You say luck, I say Destiny. Who cares? Point is, we're going on a quest to rescue Princess. Together. I told you I wouldn't let you down. So, when do we start? As soon as I take you to the capital and get your commission from the king! Just get your sword and we'll be off! I don't exactly own a sword. You don't have a sword?! I can't take you to meet the king if you don't have a fucking weapon for the king to commission you with. Sorry, but you'll have to acquire a weapon before I see you up. Well, Skabalban, it looks like your patroness is quite the practical joker, plucking you of all people at random out of a whole kingdom to go on the most glorious of all quests, only to have you fail because you don't own a weapon. Ah, this is terrible. Where the hell am I going to find a weapon in Borington? Come on, Skabalban, I can't believe it happened. We were just given an extraordinary opportunity. We can't give up on a technicality. Isn't there something we can do, I think? <laughs> Get the, the thief. Nice camera in here, by the way. Wow, look at that first person mode. Ten fortune cookies. Wow, I can't move around in first person mode. I just, I can look. I can see my entire feet. 
Mr. Palum Grundy. Jesus. Mr. Palum Grundy. <laughs> Plamo Grundy, sorry. Wasn't there a merchandise on the shelves? It's just for display, you little hoodlum. I took all the merchandise into the back room. For some reason, text goes by too quick. Hey, Mr. Plamo Grundy, I'm here to shop. Bah, you youngins are spreading too much excitement around this town. Your long hair, misspelled names, and not sitting around all day. Yeah, I'll try to be more plant-like. What's in stock today? Chicken Cosmo. Well, here's your merchandise. Oh, bought it with honest money and sold it at a fair price. Aren't you a nice young man? <laughs> okay. I'm so happy I bought this. Watch this. Watch. This is going to fuck me. I, I, seriously, since I bought the horn hat, I probably won't be able to afford a sword. And then I'm right puckered. There's a monolith? What? Hi, how you doing, Skaboba? Simon, I need a weapon pronto. Do you have anything here I could use as one? Hmm, I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> Top animations. Motion captured. Well, I've got this scythe. That could be your weapon. What do I look like, the Grim Reaper? Come to think of it. Ah, never mind, alright, I'll take it. I can sell it to you for ten frequent flyer miles. Damn it, now I've got to come up with ten miles. Hold on to that for me, Simon. I'll be back. Sure thing, Skibobun. Oh man, I shouldn't have bought the- I told you guys, I shouldn't have bought this goddamn helmet. How about those five that were take that were robbed from me? <laughs> I gotta play basketball again. Just, just a little bit at a time here. We'll, we'll get there. We'll get our scythe. Guy's coming at you with a fucking sickle! I'd like to recommend the Bill Burr special on Netflix. If anyone hasn't seen it yet. If anyone knows who Bill Burr is. Very, very high quality. Only two more. Not even basketball man can stop me. Fortunately, the image in this game was used for Princess Carminia is cap copyrighted and can't be used. The game developers have so far been too lazy or cheap to require a legal image. That's cool. I'm ready. I'm ready to purchase. Yeah, I can't actually, like, attack with this, though. So, I don't know what's going on there. Hang on a sec. Okay. I guess it just has to be in the right spot.
There is nothing in the pot. You've acquired a lockless box. Hey, look, I finally got a weapon. Can we go now? A scythe? You call that a weapon? Come on. Where do you expect me to find a better weapon in a town like this? It's the best I could do. Well, I guess it'll work. All right, let's go. Congratulations. You've just completed the first level. If this were the full game, we would now head off to the royal palace in Botudgel City and get a special commission to rescue the princess from the king. However, this is just a demo, so you have to settle for let letting us give you a preview of some things that would have happened if this been at the actual game. We've unlocked the shooting gallery. You might be wondering, what is a shooting gallery, gallery doing in the town like Borington? And you'd be right to wonder. A shooting gallery is too much excitement for Borington. The gallery is actually found in another province called Banskara. We put it here in Borington for just the demo. Banskara is a providence inhabited by people who are, to put it lightly, not so bright. If you enter the shooting gallery, you see this for yourself. Also, we've opened the town gates. You can explore the Boringshire countryside. Thank you for playing the demo of the Ditty of Carmenia. We hope you enjoyed it and the extremely unlikely case that something... or something... I can't attack? <laughs> hey, the music's pretty good. <laughs> not bad. Nice, nice floating grave. I wonder if there's anything to do. So there's no attacking. It's just this. Boring ship bridge. For the purpose of this demo, the bridge leads to a scene where the hero sets off his first castle after receiving his commission by the king. This is the cutscene, guys. Motion captured. Well, Tabitha, here we are, outside the safety of the city walls, to embark and about to embark on our glorious quest to rescue the princess. Out there lies the vast uncharted wilderness, and will needs where needs are scarce. And enemies lurk it hidden in the ignorant crevices of the landscape. It is a journey so bleak perilous that the greatest of men can hope to succeed, and yet destiny chose me, a poor farm boy, uh, to undertake this glorious quest, because the true power to conquer, conquer evil comes not from money or prestige, but from the heart. And so, my good fairy, it is time to set forth into the bleak unknown. First stop, Brobensi. Damn it. Skibolbunt, are you okay? Ah! Hey, buddy. This is just a scenic overlook. The road to Brobensi is back that way. Yeah, I know, but there weren't any good vantage points on the road. We're trying to make a cutscene for the game here. Huh? A game? Oh, oh, I see. Well, I'm sorry, but uh, I'm going to have to ask you to do that somewhere else. You're creeping out the tourists. Sorry about that. Well, Tab, it looks like our adventure is off to a rough start. I can just tell this is the sign of things to come. See, I almost wish this was a full game now. Well, not really. I don't want any enemies popping out of ignorant crevices and hijacking our tour bus. <laughs> hey there, you know we're on a road trip too, just not literally. Ignorant crevices. guitar tone going on here. What the, what the hell? Why is this song good? The drums are mixed. Very Floydian. Sounds a bit like Nick Mason playing. 
this, this overworld design is so good. So much, literally so much to do. You can walk a little bit, you can jump. You can open treasure chests and get arrows, uh, crossbow darts. Crossbow. I got a crossbow even though there's no enemies to fight. Wow. Yep, so now I can fire crossbow. How his upper body is completely still during the running process. Help! Help! I, I can't swim! Help! Why did you jump in the water then? What? Skabalbant, wake up! What? Uh -huh. Where am I? You're dead, Skabalbant. I need to get up. What the? Who are you? I am death. <laughs> He's a hippie. I am death. Yep, I'm death, Skabalbanti, and this is Limbo, the first circle of hell. You're in hell, Skabalbant. Isn't that wonderful? What? Wonderful? Jesus Christ! Don't be so sour, Skabalbanti. This isn't the mean old imperial capitalist hell that really, really bad people go to. This is the hell where everyone lives in utopian world of peace and harmony. We frolic with laughter and gaiety among the flowers. In Limbo, everyone is your friend. Every moment is joy. And we... S Look, Death, I was in the middle of making a video game, and I guess you must have gotten killed somehow. I, I kind of like to continue. I'm trying to rescue the princess. <sighs> so soon. So soon. Very well. You're the glorious hero, after all. I have a magical chariot that can carry your soul back to Earth if you'll follow me. <laughs> oh, it's fucking... There it is, Skibble Bunty. The chariot that will take you back to Earth. Interesting looking ride. And Skibble Bunt, remember, anytime you die, you're welcome to stay here with us in limbo. Singing and dancing and frolicking in the flowers. Bye-bye, Skibble Bunty. Oh my god. That is just... <sighs> hey, Skabalbunt, you're back already? Yeah, I guess so. It's amazing, most people take years if not decades to continue, but you were only gone for no time at all. Yeah, death wasn't anything like I expected, though. Don't sweat it, Skabalbunt, let's keep going. We're still on a, re a mission to rescue the princess. fucking game. I wonder if there's anything else to do. <laughs> the jumping animation. It's pretty wonderful. Uh, I'm just gonna go this way. Follow this path. Listen to the sweet tunes. Real adventure games. This is what Zelda should have been. They missed an opportunity. Skyward Sword's got nothing on this. Oh look, I found a person. Hey there. Hello. Uh, hello there, young man. Nice day for a walk in the country, isn't it? Yeah, but why did you come all the way out here to take a walk? Because I'm looking for hidden treasure. A hundred years ago, pirates fled up the stream after plundering the king's yacht, and they were tracked down and captured, but the loot was gone. Legends say the pirates disposed of it right before they were captured in this very spot. I've been coming here for fifty years, fifty years, looking for that hidden treasure, but I still haven't found it. Where could it be? 
50 years, huh? Oh, well, there it is. <laughs> there it is! S sandals. Amazing. They went on over his shoes. You will obey or molten silver will be poured into your ears. You don't become a failure until you're satisfied with being one. Today is the first day of the rest of the mess. Nice fortune cookies. I don't know what this item is. Why is this music so good? <laughs> that doesn't sound like music that was made specifically for this game. I mean, I could be wrong, but it just sounds too good to be that kind of music. I want to get that treasure chest. I can walk on water. Is it because of the sandals, maybe? Credit card. It's a shame it's only a demo. But I mean, a game like this probably takes hours. Each, like, individual part of the map, each building in town, every model, Painstakingly detailed. Hours and hours of one's life spent developing this game. How the young man, would you like to try out the shooting game? Um, maybe. How do I play? Good question, laddie. Because this shooting game is different, it'll really pique your interests. Who wants to play another boring old shooting game? There's nothing unique about it. I just assume go fishing. I, clever, banksary Korean that I am, realized that what this game needs was a new twist. So I invented the game where the object was not to hit the target, but to miss the target. Miss the target? That's right. I'll give you a small crossbow and ten dots. If you miss all ten shots, I'll give you a prize. So, what do you think? One medium game, coming up, working out the kinks I see. Good luck. <laughs> wow, laddie, you're a natural. You missed all ten of your shots. You win a prize. The Banksarian cap. So you want to give it a try? Impossible. One impossible game coming up. This kid is hardcore. Psst. Good luck. <laughs> it was too much for me. Here's the impossible level. I won. Wow, Landy, you are a not too old. What's the easy one like? Whoa, what's going on here? Why do I get double crossbow arms? <laughs> oh my fucking god. This game is gold.
skull of poor Yorick. Okay, Reg. What else is there to do? Oh, you want me to, like, lose the shooting? Okay, I'll do that. Uh, Reg, if you know what else to do in this game, that would be kind of amazing. Um, you can, you can guide me. Here, I'm gonna lose the shooting game now on purpose. <laughs> I lost. I hit the target ten times. There is a wall north of town, and then there is the opening of the chest. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Graphics. Graphics so real that you'll shit your pants. Uh, there's a wall north of town. Yes, but what am I supposed to do at the wall north of town? That's just someone whistling into the microphone. I don't see death anywhere. I'll just... guess I'll just continue without him. What did he say? Did he say... Go north and hop over a wall. Okay, I see. I see. Cool. Well, that's nice that they actually went out of their way to program that in. Um, now I have to figure out how to open the chest. Any suggestions, Reg? I don't know if I want to spend forever trying to find a key. Well, what else is there to do? Oh, use the credit card. I kind of figured that. There's a, a part of me that figured that. Do you have any any other things before I open the chest, Reg? Any other moments that I should be aware of? Because this this game, it, it's like it's like a beautiful gift from the heavens. Every every so often, you get something so stupid yet self-aware. It just makes you cry. Tears of joy. I haven't cried yet. But I'll work myself into a cry real quick. The wall, keep going down this road and you'll see- a uh, Oh, okay, I thought you meant the other wall. Okay, hop over it. The wall, he says. I thought that was the wall. Oh, you mean this one. Oh. I thought you meant the back wall. <laughs> yes! Oh, uh, USA loved my flip. Korea. France hated it. Well, comparatively.
Oh, that's awesome. Mellotron, acoustic guitar, bass. That it sounds like um, the rattle of a tambourine in the back there. Some backwards guitar, some delay and reverb on it. It's tasty. A tasty little song. The kind of music I would write, actually. Okay, here we go. Credit card. You have picked the lock. It contained one handheld video player. Skabobunt, if that video player was locked up for so long, there must be an important message. Equip it and use the item to play what's on it. I know, it's been locked up in this town forever. I can't wait to see what's on it. I just got Rick Rolls by a video game. Just want you guys to be aware of that. Just in case you weren't 100% aware of it. Uh -huh. You know the rules, and so do I. Wow. We got memed on. Just got memed on so hard. What year was this game made? Oh, God, no! Wrong button! Oh, man. Um, I just found a rifle in that, like, pot there. I mean, this is kind of, you know, like, there's a lot of detail here. You know, what's, what is this? Myfief.com. The most insidious enemy in the whole game is the camera. The camera doesn't do any damage, doesn't hinder your path, doesn't talk to you, you hardly ever see it. Yet you spend the whole game fighting it. Wow. That is perfect. Oh, Jesus. America. Apps. Well, there's a calculator in this game, guys. That makes it worth it. Um, do you have any plans to continue the development of the Diddy of Carmenia after this demo is released? No. My only desire is to cast this yoke aside forever. Seriously, though, I'd love to make the game reality. It's going to take money. <laughs> um, so the game, size of Ocarina of Time could barely be squeezed out for three million. Six million is more realistic. A lot needs to be done. Uh, a different engine. Installment plan. Uh, and some company will hire me as the game developer <laughs> and I'll bring the game with me. There's always open source route. If I do this, it's going to be more interesting, but, or a bit more interest, but there's not enough interest for people to give me uh, money. Oh. 
free sounds from myfreesound.com. It was conceived while he was playing Wind Waker in 2005. A video game that um, made fun of video game cliches and absurdity. Um, next seven years working on it in my free time. Which included about two years of non-employment. Seven years. Holy shit. So that, that means this came out in like 2012, 2013. But the Rickroll makes sense because if it was in development all that time, then yeah, of course it's going to be like that. Oh man. Well, there you go. That's, that's the game. Whoa. Someone's texting me. From Mary and Marjorie, Dog Nightingale Woodpecker 40. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I'm glad we got to experience the elephant. That was worth it. Oh, man. All right, so, Reg, is that, that's it, right? That's the whole thing? That was... four claps that was that was great and you know what? i wasn't even pissed about the rickroll seriously i had no problem with it it was unexpected and that that's what it was meant to be that's what it was meant to do and it did exactly that and i, I give the game credit for for forgetting me that was the best rickroll that i've i've had happen to me in in years well, then again, no one's actively rickrolling anyone anymore. But it was it was good. It was good. Very good. All right. Well, that was uh, the Diddy of Carmenia, I think. And I have another shitty game up next. So that should be fun. <laughs> uh I will I will be back. <laughs> it's going to be hard to top that. So I'll be back in a few minutes. Um, stick around, you know, <laughs> I'll get you guys a BRB and some music and we'll return with um, Stalked Incubus. What an edgy name that is. Oh, it's got to be good, right? See you soon.